One thing I tell a lot of my players um, that I work with is raise your hand if you're a starter, if you start on your team, okay? And if you don't, that's fine, okay? When you get in the game, I always have a, a golden rule to break the ice to get over that fear of just being aggressive. One of the first three times you touch the ball, attack to the rim. Just, just get it over with because when you're going back and, back and forth from defense to offense, and let's say after the fourth or fifth time down, you're, you're catching and you're not really just being aggressive and push, forcing the issue, you start to overthink, right? Then you want to play everything safe. And then you just become like a, just a ball reverse guy. But you guys work way too hard to not cash in. You know what I mean? Like you guys got you to believe in yourself and give yourself a chance to, to, to break down those walls and really showcase what you guys could do. Because I've seen, like, all you guys could hoop, man. It's just this that's holding y'all back. You know what I mean? So one of the first three times you touch the ball, right, in an offense, I don't care what the coach say. Don't go really against them, but don't forget, offenses are designed for floor spacing and for guys to be able to operate within the offense to make plays. So one of those first three times you touch the ball, just catch and go. You know what I mean? You're one pass away, we talked about this. Be shot ready, time that pass. Read how your, your, your defender who's playing help side, when the ball moves, what does he gotta do? He's gotta move, right? Just go and see what happens. You, worst case, you get into a gap, you penetrate, kick, and you make a play. Best case, you get into the gap and you're like, damn, I didn't know I could do that, and you lay the ball up. Then you're running back on defense, smiling, and you happy, you know what I mean? So just start there. Attack your fears. Like, all you guys are afraid to make mistakes, right? Like, nobody wants to, you'll never play a perfect game. Kobe's never done it, LeBron's never done it. In the history of basketball, nobody's never not made a mistake in the game, right? I'm big on you win or lose the game before you even play the game. Like, it's really that simple. Like, how you guys go in your warm-up lines, what are you guys doing before, you know, the actual game or practice, whatever? Um, the mental approach is everything. That's where you're going to, you know, separate yourself from everybody else is, is your mental thought process. Do you see yourself having success before you have it? Um, that's, that's something I think a lot of people don't take in consideration. You know, for me, when I was coaching um, on the circuit, before the games, I used to make all my kids make, uh, take a shower by themselves. <laughs> You know what I mean? And just have that, that personal time where you're in the shower, you can't touch your phone, and it's not to smell fresh for the opposing team, right? It's just to sit there and get your mind right and just to be still. You know what I mean? Just like you guys, um, y'all did the meditation thing yesterday, right? Just getting your mind into another place to where you could, you could see yourself actually being effective in the game. You know what I mean? Because just like there's, there's a lot of fear that you guys may have, a lot of jitters, during the game or before the game, you guys got to learn how to control that. You know what I mean? And if you don't spend time getting your mind right, you'll always live in that, on that side of fear, and that's going to hinder your game and, and um, not allow you to be successful like you should be, you know? Y'all work so hard, man, honestly. Like, that's like me working 40 hours a week at UPS, and then, like, Friday, I come in and like my supervisor's like, hey Tim, here's your check. And I'm like, I'm all right, I'm gonna continue to work for free. You know what I mean? That's kind of where you guys are at. Not saying there's anything wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. Y'all put in the work. But there's gotta be at some point in time where you're like, man, screw it. I gotta, this is the one game, I gotta take a chance on myself. I gotta, I gotta catch and just go. Because when you start overthinking things, this is what's gonna continuously happen. So you guys have prepared yourself for years to cash in. Now it's just taking that one game to just catch and just go. And you'll hear me say that so much because it's that simple. Um, you attack the fear by just catching that ball and just committing to a drive or just to see what can happen. I mean, you know, that's, that's just something all you guys got to do. Going back to my one over three, one of those first three times you catch the ball, just commit, man. And, and you'll see once you do it that first time and you'll have a little bit of success, maybe you get an assist, maybe you get a foul, um, initiate a foul, whatever. You'll be like, damn, I could, I could keep doing this. And then you'll do it again. And then you just keep doing that. And eventually you'll be confident enough to, to stay consistent with that. And then you're on to the next set of problems. <laughs> you know what I mean?
so